All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about hosting. Now, hosting is very important because you want to make sure you get off on a very good start. Now, I'll tell you a quick story. When I first set up my online course uh, website, this was a website called Divi University. I thought, you know what, I'm going to save money with cheap hosting. But that turned out really, really bad because a lot of the times my website was down. And the worst thing that ever happened was I actually got hacked. So... Yes, there are a lot of uh, cheap companies out there that you can use for hosting, but ideally you want to choose something that's going to take away a lot of the headache. So the company that I recommend right now, which I, which in my opinion has a great interface and a lot of very, very good features and also easy to use is Flywheel. Let's take a look. So over here is my main interface I've logged in and this is what I basically see. So if you want to create a new site, you can just come over here to this green button and you can click here to create a brand new website. All right, but let me show you the features that I was talking about that you may need to consider when it comes to hosting. So I'm going to come over here now to uh, this website. So this is where all your websites will be listed if you have more than one. So I'm going to click here and this now is going to give me an interface for just that website. So take a look. Let's say I need someone to help me on my website. I can add collaborators here by clicking on this plus button. I can enter their email address and invite them to work on my website. So this is very, very important, you know, in stages where you are not sure about something that you're working on and you need some help. Next, we're going to come over here to plugins. Now, under plugins, this tool will show you all the plugins that you have on your website and which plugins need updating. So when I scroll down here, you can see here that there's a few that need updating here. And it also tells you what is up to date. The next tab here is the stats. This just shows you, you know, how much traffic is coming to your website. And as you can see here, uh, there's a few people coming to this uh, website. Okay, now moving on. Now, this part here is the most important, and this is the backups. One of the challenges that I had when I had my chip hosting is when the website went down, I really struggled and I paid so much money just to get that website up and running again because I did not have any backups. And also trying to keep on top of backups with these uh, backup plugins is also very difficult because sometimes you're busy. And ideally, you want to be busy creating the content and also managing your students, making sure they're happy with what you're providing with your support. The last thing you want to do is to spend time trying to make, make sure the website is up and running. So having automated backups is a big deal. So if we take a look here, you can see these are automatically happening every single day. So here you can see January 26, 2021, and all these are the backups every day. So if something is to happen, uh, let's say something happened yesterday and my website was not working at all, I can always come over here to the day before because that obviously will be the date that the website works. So I would come over here, click on these three little dots here and restore. And basically, I'm going back to just a day rather than losing everything. So this feature right here is so powerful that it's worth the money. OK, coming over here, we also have the advanced. Now, over here on advanced, this is all the, you know, if you want to clear your cache and you want to export your logs and so on. And also, if you want to um, perhaps maybe upgrade your website, you can use what is known as a staging site where you, you get a snapshot of your website, do all your updates and all your changes. And once you're ready with it, you just press the button and it pushes the latest website up. So that means that you won't have any downtime while you're working on the new version of your website or even any updates you're trying to put on your website. So as you can see, this has a lot of powerful features. And also here we have a CDN. Now, a CDN is a content delivery network, which helps make your website even faster. Now, this also comes in free with this hosting, which is fantastic. All right. So let's talk about how to set up your website fast. So to set up your website, all you need to do is to come over here, click on new site. So if you don't want to really commit to any hosting at the moment, because sometimes it can be quite difficult for you to start paying for the hosting right away. So you want to build the website first and then perhaps go for the hosting. So what Flywheel does is it allows you to build your website and you can have it there for two weeks. So this is where you can create a demo site. So when you create a demo site, this will install WordPress for you. And as you can see, it says free for 14 days. And this is perfect just for getting up and running. Now, once you're happy with the website, you've tested everything, 
Then after that, you can start your hosting. Now, let me tell you one more secret. If you email the guys at Get Flywheel, you can ask to extend at 14 days. And this also gives you extra time. Okay, so once you've installed your website and it's up and running, you are going to get a site that is very plain and looks like this. So in the next video now, we're going to be talking about how to set up your website quickly before we install Twitter LMS. See you in the next video.